Kindle Trends. How many of you guys have heard of Kindle Trends? I was impressed with this. Okay. So does everyone see this little email example here? I'll have a more in-depth explanation of this. Matt Connors runs this. Good, awesome friend. And we are going to be working on being able to bring the data from Kindle Trends into Rexy, like through an API so that people can process it. Same thing with Publishing Rocket or if you guys, what was it? Publisher Rocket and KDP Spy. They had similar tools to this. What's different about Kindle Trends is that you get an email every week for whatever genres you want. And it literally will just tell you like what's changing and everything. And what's really cool about this is if I, if I just grab this image, so I'll just save this image as data. And again, come over to ChatGBT because it has the ability to read images. In the other case, you would just copy and paste the information. You can literally upload, I'm gonna upload that image. And I'm gonna say, this is book data for a genre about changes to the bestseller list. Analyze it. And then give me three novel ideas and why they will do well in the genre. I'm not even going to tell it what genre it is so we can see if it can figure out which genre it is. I'm just wondering what it's, if it says. Yeah, it says down here, mystery and cozy. So based on this, it's, it read the image and it's going, what was up was this. I don't know that it would if it figured out that it was mystery cozy. It doesn't look like it got mystery cozy out of it, but midwinter murders, a Yuletide's witch tale. Oh no, network error, regenerate. A certain genre of book. The trending topics for this past week include magic. Here, let me actually stop it. I'm going to tell it to identify the genre because I don't think that it's doing that yet. That's my bad. That was my bad prompting. Let me go to a new one. Doot, doot, doot. By the way, you can do this with a screenshot of book covers too. If you just go to Amazon and get a screenshot of book covers and pop it in there and say what genre it is, it can tell you, it can analyze the book covers for you. Have you, has anyone tried that? Oh, excuse me. Please. Whoopsies. Read the data and explain it so you understand it. Identifying the genre. Analyze it and then give me three novel ideas and why it'll do, why it'll do well in the genre. So here we go. I love this. I love how powerful these tools have become. They're really cool. We'll see if it gets better. I'm impressed that it was able to read those words magic and supernatural, even though that they're highlighted and this is actually an image. So it's likely related to fiction. So it doesn't even figure out that it was mystery cozy yet. We'll see if it gets to the bottom there. Oh, it's got mystery cozy. So it's okay. The question seems to be a blend of cozy mystery with fantasy or paranormal elements. Here's three novel ideas that could do well based off of it. Cozy mystery where a small town witch must clear her name where she's implicated in a series of mis magical mishaps that resemble murder. Holiday spirits and bibliomancer, the cursed pages. <laughs> Let's see here. Please explain why those three books uh, hit the tropes and please make them more specific. Let's see what it can do. The last little thing I'll demo for you guys is actually showing you book covers because I think that's a really cool thing that it can do. This novel fits the murder and witch trends prominently. It could follow the story of Esme Vervain a well-loved apothecary owner in the quaint town of Willow Creek. Take a drink. We got Willow Creek. Bibliomancer, I don't know about that. 
Simon St. Clair, a rare book dealer. He acquires a 17th century diary that once belonged to a notorious witch hunter. But now that's cool. And then he's got a curse. So I'm actually pretty impressed with this. Anyone else shocked that it can take data and then give you story ideas based off of what you give it as the data? Even if it's a snapshot of a picture. Thank you for joining us on something wickedly cool in AI. Um, this is what we do in our lab sessions. So the Future Fiction Academy is eight labs a week. You can come live, you can watch the replays after, you get the transcript, you also get the lab report. And we work together to specialize in different parts of AI tools to come up with really innovative prompting and how to use these tools in our everyday publishing careers. So if you would like to join the Future Fiction Academy, we would love to have you because uh, it's a community that is AI positive and we're all working together to stay on top of this new technology before we all get left behind. So we invite you to come join us and have fun because we love to play with this stuff um, and we love to share, share it. So hope to see you in lab soon. Bye.